to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, we are doing some dining room table styling. So if this, if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. And in today's video, we are going to be doing some dining room table styling. Behind me is my formal dining room. I have a rectangular table that I'm going to be styling, giving you guys a couple different looks, some inspiration. This was actually a suggestion from you guys. So I'm going to be doing a kind of a two part series where I'm going to be styling a rectangular table. And then in my next video, I'm going to be styling a round table, just giving you guys some different looks. And like I said, some inspiration for you to implement in your own home. But before we get started in today's video, if you have not already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you at Mom with Bustle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So a couple specs for you. My dining room table is 96 inches long. Everything in this room is from Restoration Hardware minus the print and my drapes, which you can't really see. But I know I get tons of questions on my dining room, where everything is. Everything will be linked down in the description box if I can link it for you all. All the decor used for today's video are items I already own. I did not go out and buy a bunch of stuff to make these videos, and I'm doing this kind of as I go. I'm gonna try to do as many looks as I can, and let's get started with look number one. So here is look number one. So I did a simplistic approach to the very first look, only utilizing two vessels. So this white vessel is from Restoration Hardware, and I paired it with some stems that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby. They're in a kind of willow-like eucalyptus. And then all I did was I paired this CB2 vessel. It is discontinued. I will try to link something similar, but I did a very simplistic approach to this look only utilizing two vessels and some stems. This is very popular right now when you're having like really big whimsical type branches, which I've been noticing for styling purposes. And then one thing I really love about this look as well that we are utilizing two different colors. So I have the contrast between the white vessel and the dark vessel. So that way there's some visual interest when you are looking at this. The only reason why I would not style this particular look in my dining room table is just because this these branches are almost competing with the tree behind it as well as you are not being able to see the print behind there but just for you guys this would be a really simple and achievable look to style for your dining room table so this is look number one Taking the vintage vessel behind me, this is a vintage Chinese black pot vessel, and inside that vessel are some orchids. Now, I actually did a DIY on this, which is a little kind of tip for you. If you guys have a vessel that you have, maybe at home, and you are looking for some foliage, I purchased the orchids, which are like a silk orchid from Home Goods, but I wasn't really a fan of the vessel that it came in. So I actually cut the orchids out of the vessel and then placed it in this vintage vessel, kind of giving it this really beautiful, you know, modern but vintage type style. When I think of orchids, I definitely think of Restoration Hardware. They use orchids a ton in their styling. I did the orchid and the vessel combination there. And then all I did was I styled a Studio McGee pedestal bowl with some fresh lemons. Now I love this for bringing in some color. It brings some freshness. It brings some visual interest and really lean into using natural foliage, lemons, artichokes, pomegranates, really bring those type of items to a tablescape and it, it just adds a little bit of pop of color in there. So this is style number two for you. Here is style number three. I utilized my Pottery Barn vessel and I utilized my Amazon candlestick holders with some foliage. Now the candlestick holders I have with no candles in them. So this is 
one way of styling these type of candlestick holders without a candle, but if you wanted to, you could always put one in there. And then the stems I got from Hobby Lobby, so if you guys would have caught my home decor haul, I did talk about these stems. So one thing I have to stress with when it comes to styling any table, really, is just dumb it down, less is more. You don't need a ton of stuff in order to make an impact. Plus, you want it to be practical, you know what I mean? You don't want to have like a bunch of stuff on your table and make it feel really cluttered because then you're going to have to remove it if it is a table that you eat at a lot. Now, I do want to let you guys know that we've not eaten at this dining room table just because this is like my formal dining room. So I can kind of get away with having some extra height and whatnot, but obviously it's not realistic when it comes to having a conversation with someone if we were to be seated at this table. But this is style number three and I, I love it. Simple, clean, to the point. So let's see what style number four is. number four so what I did for this one is I added a table runner please keep in mind this table runner has not been steamed hence why it is wrinkly I don't typically use table runners but I wanted to showcase something with a little bit more layering so I did a table runner that I got from Crate and Barrel a while back and then I actually brought in a live stem so these are all the branches from my trees outside I put that in a large oversized glass vase from Target with some water and then I added a trio candlestick that I got from Amazon. These are the ones I think were like $20, but I just want to showcase ones with an actual candlestick. Those candlesticks, and then I brought in some vintage wood dobles. I have two of them stacked within one another, big and a small. You should know that I absolutely love doing stacking like that for styling purposes. But here's one look. I want to show you guys how I can change the look of this tablescape by just changing one simple thing. So I'm going to take away these and bring in a terracotta bowl again a big and a small these have a little bit of moss on the outside if you want you could add lemons if you wanted or artichokes would be really beautiful so here is another idea of kind of playing in with more of the neutral tones instead of bringing in a warmer tone with the wood so another look or take this away and i'm going to add a little vintage stool you guys know i love these little vintage stools they are so fun for styling but just putting a little stool there and that just showcases that by just changing one simple thing for a tablescape can change the entire look of the actual decor itself so that is going to be style number four for you let's do style number five absolutely love this look it is so simplistic but it has so much oh I can't even explain it I took the same approach that I did for my holiday tablescape where I paired a bunch of those vintage vessels all together to create almost like a runner but utilizing the vessels I did the same exact concept but using a selenite stick candle hold and I have them in tall medium and small and I have them just clustered there in the center to kind of again create this table runner type scape and I am so here for it if you're new to my channel I absolutely love anything selenite geocrystals quartz crystals anything that has great energy I love that in my home and I thought this was super appropriate it's very simple it's very minimal but it makes so much of a statement so this is the fifth and final look and I know not everybody's going to have selenite stick pillar Candle holders, I did get these from Home Goods, so be on the lookout for your local Home Goods if they have them. But you can take this concept of like clustering a bunch of things together to create a table runner, and I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this styling. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, as always, you got some inspiration. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. This takes me all morning to do. I love doing this type of stuff. My home looks like a bomb blew off. I've got crap everywhere, but I absolutely love bringing some creativity to my channel. So if you love it, please give it a thumbs up, sound off on the comment, which look was your favorite and stay tuned in for the next video, which I will be showcasing how to style a round dining table. So that will be my next video to come, but I love you so much and we will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.